Hello Sagittarius. This is your reading for the 2nd through the 3rd. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. This reading will not resonate for everyone. I wish that it could. But please guys, take out of it what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. Alright, my Sagittarius friends, let's see what we've got for you guys. The Hermit. Taking some time out for yourself. Kind of rethinking things or thinking about things that, um, you know, up until now. Like, what has brought you to this, this point, okay? And I think you're just wanting some alone time to gather your thoughts right now. Maybe a Virgo energy that you guys um, are significant to you. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune here. The Wheel the wheels turning and I think that's that's probably why you are taking some time out to reflect is because you know your next move you want it to be a good one okay you want it to be the best one for you but you're needing some time to kind of like evaluate things to see where you're going from here because I mean you you want to be successful um, going forward so you're just trying to figure some things out here okay Page of coins, maybe something to do with your finances even here. Some of you are probably going back to school or thinking about going back to school, um, learning a new um, a trade or either, you know, getting another degree even. But there's something that you guys are contemplating here that um, you feel like would be very beneficial um, and successful for you. Okay. Page of cups. Hmm. There's something that you feel um, very, I, I feel not really passionate about, but I'm, I'm thinking that you don't want your excitement um, to get too high because you're not really sure about it right now. But I think that it's something that, that emotionally, you know, you're happy about it. You, you feel like this would be beneficial for you. Okay. I'm also getting that, um, you know, maybe there's a water energy here that, um, or somebody with water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio individual that is interested in you, okay? I feel like this person wants to offer something to you, whether it's an apology, um, it's, it's something that they've been thinking about, I feel, for a while now. And um, maybe they're just not sure if you're going to accept what they have to offer you. So they, they're really unsure, okay? Because I think right now you're kind of like in recluse and they feel like you guys do not want to be bothered um, here. But I feel like they, they think they would be successful with you. But they're not sure if you would be accepting of them. The lovers. Mm. You're thinking about them too. Someone. Whether it's, you know, this person or whether it's someone else. But you're trying you're trying to decide whether, you know, it's beneficial for you to like um Continue on your own, go your own way, follow your own path without this person or whether, you know, being with this person is right for you and is the right thing to do. Should you accept their apology? Should you make an apology? Because for some of you, um, I feel like, you know, there's something that you feel like you may need to do, okay, um, for, for this to be successful for you. Involving this other person, Gemini energy here. Somebody that you feel strongly attached to. Strongly attached to. Hmm. I don't think you're comfortable with the level um, of feelings of attachment that you have. I don't think you're comfortable with it. And you're really trying to figure out, like, why do you feel so drawn to this person? Why are you so very drawn to this person? What is it? You know, are they your destiny? 
you know, is this your star? Because a hermit is looking for the star, looking for their path, looking for who um, they're supposed to be with, okay? But you're figuring something out here. You're trying to. You're studying something intently, okay? Why you feel so drawn to this person? Should I make an apology? Should I try to make things right? And this energy right here could just be you as well. You know, should you make an apology? Would this be a stable relationship if you made an apology and tried to get back together? Or get together in general, okay? But here, I feel like this is somebody from the past because, you know, the hermit is here re reflecting, looking at the light, but looking back towards the past, okay? The six of coins, yeah. This is having, you know, exchanging your energy equally with someone, um, having reciprocity in a relationship, giving your all as they give their all as well. So you guys can build up a foundation that will, you know, have longevity. Taurus energy there. The high priestess. Hmm. Some of you are trying to make a choice between two people, okay? Somebody that I feel like, you know, you really feel drawn to. And then there is another person here, um, somebody that you may have been involved with while you were involved with this person even. Hmm. I feel like there's a very strong attachment between the two of you. This person that you feel so drawn to. And I feel like they are, they feel attached to you as well. They feel like you guys belong together and I think you feel it too. But you're uncomfortable with feeling that is what I'm getting here. You guys are probably not speaking. There's a lot that is unspoken between the two of you here. A lot that's unspoken. Hmm. A lot of mysterious like there, there's a level of mysterious energy here that you don't really know how they feel um, and they don't really know how you feel. You guys know individually how you feel, like you feel strongly attached to the other person, but I think there's a lot that's not being spoken currently. Okay. Yeah, about this Ten of Coins, about this stable relationship, about you know, having this relationship, as I said before, you know, trying to figure out, is this going to be something that you can build upon that, you know, will last for the duration that you guys will be together and work this out, you know? Hmm. Should you give? Can you give? You know, is this something that you feel like you want to invest in here? And I see that you're wanting to, but um, you're, you're still in this mode of trying to figure things out here. Okay, not making a lot of movement, just thinking. Then we have the two of wands, okay. Here we come with the wands, choosing, choosing whether or not you're just going to, you know, keep your feelings secret or whether you're going to choose to explore the possibilities of this, um, what can be a very committed uh, long-term relationship here Aries energy here hmm feeling very attached I do feel like you know whatever path you take whatever path you're, you're feeling very attached obsessing over this I feel over what to do you're at a crossroads here you're in the pickle, my friends. Okay. So we have Aries here. We have Virgo, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, um, Scorpio energy, I feel. Aquarius, maybe. Leo energy. Hmm. Any other water sign? Uh, Cancer as well. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and um, 
Yeah, there's a choice to be made because, you know, whatever you do here with this will and how you handle it, however you handle it, whether you decide to be with this person or not, you know, whatever you put in is what you're getting out. So just keep that in mind, you know, handle this situation with integrity, whatever it is that you choose to do. All right, guys, so I'll be speaking with you soon.